let's knock on wood. Because we're going to be adding custom wood to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom wood to Minecraft. Now, custom wood is actually not too bad in terms of the code that we have to do so we go into our mod blocks class and we're going to start by basically just taking the blue bell here and we're just gonna duplicate it once for the time being and this is going to be the redwood underscore log and then this is going to be the redwood underscore log as well and instead of a flower block the logs, including the wood, is going to be a pillar block. So this, of course, only needs the normal settings here. And we're actually going to copy from the oak log, because that's going to make our lives a little bit easier. Then we don't have to supply any particular, well, settings here, block settings. And this would be the block. Now, why are we using the pillar block? Well, of course, probably every one of you have seen has seen the log, the oak log, for example, it has a different texture on the top and the bottom and then the sides are basically the bark and this is exactly what the pillar block does right if i middle mouse button click on this you can see it actually has an enum property of direction axis so there's different axes that this well block can be rotated under and that is pretty much what this does so we're going to see this of course once again also in the block states json file in just a moment but for the time being let's actually make all of the different well woods so this is going to be what is that like five different ones yes it is going to be five different ones so let's sort of make this like this so it's also going to be redwood wood it's a little bit of a weird name but fair enough i guess redwood wood also a pillar block and this is going to be the oak wood in this case and then we also have the stripped redwood log, which is also going to be called the stripped underscore wet redwood log, also a pillar block. And this is, of course, now the stripped oak log. There you go. And this is the stripped underscore redwood wood. It's 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 quite the mouthful, but no worries at all. And we're going to, of course, change it here as well. Stripped underscore redwood wood, also a pillar block. And here it's going to be stripped, uh, striped oak wood. There you go. And then the last thing is going to be the planks. There you go of course redwood planks they're important that you change the name in all of them that's sometimes you know something that might be forgotten and then it is of course not gonna work now this is the new block actually because oak planks are i mean overall actually fairly uh, like boring when you think about it they're just a normal block so those are the five blocks that we need to add here and what's very interesting here is also that well we have this stripping here. How do we how do we implement that? Because if we go into the X item, we can actually do that by either going into the mod items class and middle mouse button clicking, or we can press shift twice and then just put in X item here and then include non project items. And there it is, right? So we have this X item and we have this map here that maps a particular block to a particular different block. And that pretty much is exactly what we have here. So strip blocks, if we go down here, you can see oak wood goes to oak um, stripped oak wood right so this is basically the idea so how can we add to this well fabric makes this a little bit easier than forge does actually so we go into our mod registries or you can also call the same thing in the on initialize method immediately no matter the case it's going to be fine so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new public static void which is the register strippables method right here and in there we're just going to call the following we're just going to call the strippable block registry dot register and then we just have to put in the input so this would be the redwood log and then here mod blocks dot stripped redwood log and that's pretty much it that's all that we need to do and now it's being added we're going to do the same for the wood of course and then here as well just so that we have everything in here and now we just need to call this in our on initialize method in the tutorial mod class so i'm just going to call this pretty much on the same uh, moment here register strippables uh, you can also say hey maybe make like one big register all registries method in here that's totally fine that's all up to us right i mean this is something um that we could do we don't necessarily have to do it so that's pretty good this is now being called here so these strippables are being registered and now all that is left is the json files now the json files once again will actually all be copied over but of course they are all available to you in the description below github repository or in individual gists as well now, they are not the worst thing ever overall. So five block states JSON files. And let's first of all actually take a look at the planks because they are very boring. Like I said, they're just a normal block. And all of the other ones look pretty much exactly the same way. So if we take a look at this, you can see they're pretty much all the same. They have, you know, different variants. X is X, X is Y, and X is Z. 
and this then just rotates both of the block as well as points to a different model here. It usually points to a horizontal model or just a, the normal model. So that means that we have, you know, a few different models here, which of course are also going to be copied over. That is all available to you as well. So that would be the stripped variants, which is going to be quite a few. And then also the rest of them, that is going to be the redwood log all the way to the planks and the wood as well. So let's copy those over. You can see those are seven of them. Actually, not too bad. And let's actually take a look at the log and the log horizontal. You can see once again, the real difference here is going to be the parent. And you can see that it has an end texture and a side texture. So this is just the top and the bottom texture. And then the side texture is sort of the bark texture that you see on the these blocks. So that's pretty much all that there really is to it. Wood is a cube column, also a little bit different, but not too crazy, because of course the wood has the same texture all around it, and then the planks are just they're just cube wall, they're just planks, right? That's that's all that there is to it. So that's nothing too crazy. So let's also copy over the item models. Those are completely normal item models, so we could actually copy over any other item model as well and it would work so that is also something to consider but that's actually not too bad we're just going to copy this over of course once again i cannot stress this enough all available to you like i said it's just it just points back to the actual uh, block model you know those point back to the normal block model not the horizontal one so that's also something to consider as well and before we add the textures we're gonna add the translation just so that i don't forget this because that's of course sometimes Something I do forget quite often. Well, let's just copy this over once again. It, once again, of course, is just the translation. At this point, it should be very much just routine to add the translation here. Nothing too crazy. And then the textures, of course, also available to you. Those go into our textures folder, into the block folder. And there we have the log, the log top, the planks. We have the stripped redwood log and the stripped redwood log planks. Uh, rather log top it's it's a lot actually <laughs> it's a lot of redwood stuff um and there you go so those are five textures as well log log top the planks the redwood log and the redwood log top this should in theory be everything and they uh, are the stripped ones of course here right and that would that should pretty much be all that we really need to add we've registered the strippables we've added the blocks here we have you know called everything we've added the json files we've added the textures so i would say let's see if it works all right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, everything has been added successfully. As you can see, we have the wood, we have the logs, we have the planks. And I really do like the textures, actually. They're just definitely a little bit, you know, something a little bit different. They're sort of, you know, the normal texture, but just, just a little bit different. So I really do like this. And as you can see, these strip variants here, and I can also right-click with a, an axe, and I can also right-click even with our ruby axe, because, of course, this is still an axe, and everything here works totally fine. If I do say so myself... That's pretty cool. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah. <laughs>